and welcome to the show wrap up here at SMTA International. I'm delighted to be joined by my good friend and buddy, uh, Keith Bryant. Good to see you, Keith. Yes, good to be here, Trevor. All right, you know, and we keep meeting in different continents. Uh, so uh, I think the last one was India. Uh, yeah, and that was only a couple of weeks ago. I <laughs> know. All right. So uh, this is the, obviously the flagship event for SMTA in, in, in North America. Uh, it's going to be its, its last time here in Minneapolis. Uh, what's been your thoughts about it this week? Yeah, the, the conference has been very strongly supported, both with speakers pretty much from around the globe and mm -hmm. very good international base of attendees. Mm -hmm. And the exhibition has yeah, most of the major players here and uh, uh, a few new faces as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite good and pretty well attended. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, I think ye yesterday it was very busy on the show floor. Um, today a little bit quieter, but but definitely, um, you know, it's had a, a decent amount of foot traffic through the through the show. Yeah, and from chatting to exhibitors, they've had like what what I call good attendees. You know, mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been just people who've come out for the day to wander around a show. It's been people who've been here for a reason and they want to talk to people about equipment or right. upgrading their their current stuff or new things or. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. And they've had some quite interesting uh, projects going on through the show. I mean, there was one there just a moment ago where they, they had uh, an initiative for st uh, students that came in. Uh, they would get a passport and they had to visit 11 companies. Yep, that's right. There are 11 exhibitors that were taking part in it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's aimed at students and young professionals, but it gets them around the show. It gets them interacting with different companies and, you know, expanding their knowledge. And, right. it, you know, it, it's driven with a few fun competitions and things as well. So, that's right. yeah, it makes it interesting. Yeah, there was an incentive there. I think the winner got an iPad or something like that. But it was uh, uh, certainly a lively event uh, on the SMTA booth. Uh, okay, uh, I think next year we're, we're moving down to Chicago, so I think that's going to, you know, be an even bigger event. I think next year. Uh, any thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a different complexion on a show where we're at a an international hub that's easier for us overseas people to get to, mm -hmm. uh, and I think there'll be a, a lot of the the bigger players taking more space there than they do here. Yeah, um, and I think it, it has a it has a you know. I guess a better global footprint yeah. than this show, which is, you know, tends to be marketed as a, a regional sort of Midwest event, and it's linked together with a another really good event. But again, it's a you know it's a regional MDNM show, so yeah, absolutely. you know it, it, it's not a, a national footprint. I think. Yeah, yeah, and no, I think Chicago would make a big difference for for, for SMTA. Um, you're, of course, in, 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 with your other hat on, you're president of um, SMTA Europe, uh, and uh, you are uh, responsible for a lot of the activities over there. You've got a few that you're lining up for next year. You want to talk about them? Yeah, I mean, first of all, for this year, in a, in a, uh, a few short weeks, at the beginning of November, we've got a, an advanced electronics uh, one-day conference in Budapest. And again, we've got you know, we've got a really strong speaker lineup coming from around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, next year, we're working with the guys from Colk on a, it's basically a, an international counterfeit event. You know, we've got right. a, we've got a lot of the real, what I would describe as counterfeit experts from the U.S. coming over to speak. We had the first one last year. It was well attended. Sorry, this year, it was well attended, and we've got the. The, the follow up early next year, and you know we've already got a lot of people booking tabletops. So right. you know that's a, always a good sign of the interest. And then of course we've got our our major event next year, which is in Denmark at the university there, which is the Harsh Environment Conference. And I yep. mean the, you know that's in it. I think fifth fifth year now, and it you know it it, it grows every year mm. both in terms of you know quality of presentations and also. You know, attendance and tabletop exhibitors. So, right. yeah, Europe is, you know, for, I, I guess some people would say it's not growing as much as they would like, but it's, it's growing fairly steadily and, you know, we're, we're maintaining the, the members. You know, most, most people who join are renewing and we're getting a, a stream of new ones coming in as well. So, yeah, yeah we're, we're doing pretty well. That's excellent. That's excellent. No, I mean, definitely, I can see with the number of different activities you've got going on over there that things are, you know, progressing nicely. Uh, so I think you know just before we we pack up, uh, I want to 
a quick mention of the, the, the unfortunate loss of a dear friend of ours you know, and colleague, uh, Richard Boyle. He contributed so much to the industry. He was a global troubleshooting expert for, for Henkel Corporation uh, back in the day. Yep. Latterly, he worked for Hamira. Uh, a Japanese company, but but he spent the majority of his life, of course, with with Henkel. Yeah, I mean, to, to, to be honest, majority of his life with Multicore, and mm. Mo Multicore became a Henkel company. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I've I, I've known and worked with Richard for oh, well over twenty years. Yeah, and you know, yeah, he was. Uh, um, I think, as his, as his obituary said, you know, they, they described him as a giant of a man. He yeah, well, physically as he, well. He was as... physically a very big guy, and mm. you know, he had a big personality. And you know, the 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 the, the big, I, I guess, the, the takeaway for me is that two things. I've never ever in my life heard anybody say anything apart from very good stuff about him, yeah. and he was always willing to help anybody. Yes, and that that went within our industry, and he did a lot of stuff for charity. Um, he worked with Bob Willis as a volunteer at the Olympics. Right. Um, he did some stuff for his local rugby club as a volunteer as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, as his daughter said, you know, they they want to, uh, donations because he wasn't into flowers. And I asked her sort of what charity, and he, she said, to be honest, well, he supported most of them. So right. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, that that probably sums the guy up better yeah. than I could. But yeah, yeah it's. Uh, a real shame and a great loss absolutely. Um, absolutely. to the industry, also to SMTA Europe, because he was a, a strong guy on our technical committee. And mm -hmm. uh, as somebody else said to me, very big shoes are now empty. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's a sad loss. But uh, and he did a lot. He did a lot for Global SMT as well. Actually, he, he sat in a lot of panels, and uh, I, uh, you know, I had some personal discussions with him too around his illness so uh, he's, he, was, he really was a, a sad loss so uh, well, our thoughts are with him and his family today. Yeah for sure. Okay. So that's it from Minneapolis this week. Uh, I want to uh, thank you for coming in as always Keith and uh, we we'll look forward to catching up. I'm going to be in Munich the next time I guess. Yeah, I would guess so. Um, yeah, I won't be down in Mexico with you guys, so a mm. uh, little bit of a break now. And then, yeah, our, our event at the beginning of uh, November in Budapest will be my my next trip. And then, yeah, the following week, Productronica. Yeah, so. all right. Well, keep it up, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in Europe. Always a pleasure, Trevor. Thank okay. you. <laughs>